Lena Khan is the youngest chair of the Federal Trade Commission ever. Earlier this week, I interviewed her for a piece that ran on CBS Mornings in which we talked about the FTC's role protecting consumers, fighting monopolies, and the strong reaction her efforts have sparked from judges, Republicans, and business who think she's gone too far. Khan holds the post she does at such a young age in part because she wrote an influential law article arguing that Amazon was becoming like the trusts of the Gilded Age. She says that in an age of behemoths, the government had to take a more active role ensuring competition, a role like the new rules for mergers the administration just suggested. Since you taught a class on the history of um, trade and law in America, how did the FTC start and why? So the Federal Trade Commission was created in 1914 against the backdrop of an industrial revolution that had provided enormous benefits to people, but that had also consolidated and concentrated power in the handful of robber barons and industrial trusts. And Congress was deeply concerned about this concentration of economic power and the ways in which these firms could use their monopoly power to squeeze workers, to hike prices for consumers, to squash out small businesses. And that's why Congress created the FTC. Where are we now relative to that history? So look, there's been a whole set of empirical research showing that markets have become more concentrated. I think people in their day-to-day -day lives realize that if you're looking to you know, book a flight, uh, oftentimes you, know, you don't have too many options. If you're looking to buy a concert ticket, you don't have too many options. Well, you've made the comparison before between Amazon and the trusts of the Gilded Age. Do you still believe that? Look, in this role, uh, I'm really focused on enforcing the law based on the facts and the law before me. And so we look at every company and every company's business practices on a case-by-case -case basis. But the size and design of Amazon in itself, without any specifics, is not necessarily a threat to the economy. So at the FTC, we look very carefully at specific business practices. Um, are there business practices that are unfair methods of competition, that are enabling dominant firms to maintain their monopolies in illegal ways? Those are the types of practices that we look at. Historically, we've seen that instances in which you have one firm or a very small number of companies controlling access to commerce to key channels of commerce or communications, that that can create a whole set of concerns. So it sounds like you just described Amazon. Again, we look at every company on a case-by-case -case basis, and there's a lot of bipartisan concern about consolidation in digital markets and just the outsized power that companies can have to pick who gets seen or who gets heard. Five companies, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Google, Meta, Microsoft, represent big share of GDP, massive share of the growth in the S&P. Does there need to be a, a mindset shift about how we think about a world in which you have five gigantic companies or where companies can get that large? I think one of the major shifts over the last few years has been just recognizing the whole set of harms that can stem from such deep concentration. Uh, we can see harms in regards to consumer prices, where people pay more because there isn't enough competition, and so companies can just jack up prices because they know that effectively you have nowhere else to go. We've seen that workers' wages are lower when you don't have employers competing for workers. They can get away with not having to raise people's wages. We've also seen the effects on innovation, on new business formation, on business dynamism, uh, and again, the resiliency of our markets that can really be undermined when we're concentrating production and therefore concentrating risk. Do you think there needs to be a, mind sh uh, a change in, in the mindset, though, in terms of the basic assumptions that, that judges and the public have about these large corporations? They think when these platforms and these services first entered the market in the early 2000s, there was a sense that these markets are moving so quickly, they're so dynamic, the government just needs to get out of the way and that'll be really what delivers the best outcomes for people. I think what we've learned in hindsight is that in many ways these digital markets have properties that can lead to monopolization 
and to concentration much earlier. And so if anything, government needs to be more vigilant, not less, to make sure that we're able to intervene early and prevent monopolization or predatory or exploitative business models from taking hold. Because if they do take hold, is it that much harder then to unwind them the bigger they get? Yes, it's much better to be addressing these problems on the front end rather than years and years later after the, the business models have taken hold. The guidelines for mergers, the FTC and Department of Justice put out these guidelines for mergers. There's a comment period. Former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers said uh, that the rules, quote, seem almost like a war on business. So these guidelines are really designed to provide clarity to the public about what the state of the law is as written by Congress and as interpreted by the courts, including the Supreme Court. We also wanted to make sure that these guidelines are being updated to make sure it's still fully reflecting what's actually happening in our economy rather than relying on stale assumptions or stale theories. So what is your response to, um, to the pushback that the, these regulations and even the hint of them is stifling what is so dynamic and exciting about the American economy. So look, in any given year, we get anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 merger filings from companies. 98% of them go through without even a second question being asked by the agencies. So we're really talking about a very, 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 very small slice of overall deal activity that ends up being affected by merger investigations and merger enforcement. Uh, big picture, our efforts to enforce the laws that Congress charged us with, uh, the antitrust laws, the laws prohibiting unfair methods of competition, are squarely focused on businesses practices that are raising prices for people. Amazon and other tech giants say not only are they not monopolies, but technological change means they'll always be open to competition. Many believe that given, that given Khan's worldview, that's an argument Amazon will soon have to make in court.